Well, um, yeah, like you said, Power Rangers is, a, is an American thing. It's, uh, it was owned by Disney at that point. Um, since it's been sold back to Saban, who originally had it. Oh, um, I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, they, they filmed in New Zealand because it's cheaper. Ah, and okay. I was a local hire, so um, it was my first year of drama school, and it was, a, it was just a great um, opportunity. Great opportunity. You yeah. were probably like crapping in your pants, like, oh no, my actually, God, <laughs> Disney, you know, like, I'm a Power Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no, it was good. It was, it was very exciting. Um, no, I totally enjoyed it. It was great. The thing was, um, they had been raised up in this kind of um, government think tank, and um, there was a big um, virus, and um, as a result, there's only one um, city left in, in the world of you know, human civilization. And they got um, between like the, the robot wars, it's kind of like cross between like Terminator, but um, they got kind of lost in the wasteland kind of thing. And later on they got found. So they, they've, um, they're very much like children. They've got the personality of children. They haven't I quite... guess that's what it is I didn't get. They're yeah. like children. Yeah. It's like, yeah. They, yeah, they're just, um, just very... They don't know better. They yeah. don't, no, yeah. no. They just like to blow shit up, so. Well, well, <laughs> Power Rangers, it's, it's 19 years long, yeah. 19 seasons long, and with each season, um, they pretty much reboot it. So they'll, they'll have a different theme, uh, a different, you know, different characters, different colors sometimes. And so uh, our theme was Power Rangers RPM, which was like racing performance machines, uh, was, like centered around like vehicles. Um, the current season was Power Rangers Samurai, which is, had a samurai theme. And the previous one had, was, you know, like Jungle Fury with like animals and, and stuff. So they reboot it every time. And sometimes they have crossovers and bring, bring back previous um, Rangers. So uh, My Wedding and Other Secrets, it's a romantic comedy. And um, it's about a New Zealand Chinese girl called Emily. And she falls in love with uh, a white boy. <laughs> and uh, well, they are a superior race, so. I, yeah, I liked how you kind of did a. When I said white for you, in it. <laughs> that made me laugh. Oh, but um. Asians aren't good enough. Good enough. <laughs> no, no. I mean, well, I mean, I was, I was thinking, I don't discriminate with you know the females too, so I really can't say anything yeah, about if you it. Like it, you like it, right? Exactly. Yeah, so. Um, but it's about her trying to manage this um relationship with a very traditional um Chinese family, um who have threatened to disown their daughters, you know, based on, on this, if, if they um, marry a white guy, pretty much. But it's, it's um, yeah, it's a romantic comedy, and it's actually based on uh, a documentary called um, Banana in a Nutshell, which was done by the writer and director of My Wedding and Other Secrets, uh, Roseanne Liang. Um, so she took the documentary and crafted Yeah, well, it. yeah, she did well with the, it was well, well received, the documentary, and one of the New Zealand studios saw it and said, we want to make a feature of it. I play Vincent Wong, and he's, he's described in the film by Emily as a jock lawyer. So he's pretty much, um, I think he represents the guy that any traditional Asian parents would be happy to, uh, you know, that their daughter bring home. The guy she should be dating. Exactly, yeah. So I'm pretty much um, everything um, James, which was um, the white character, Emily's love, was not, I suppose. <laughs>